All right, welcome back, baseball fans, to the 69-70, 71-72 Carryover League. We are nearing the end. We are one video away from the end, which puts us in the National League Mountain. The four expansion teams who are always considered to be one collective expansion team because one of these teams always goes to the playoffs every year, which is a huge advantage they have over the other ones. So let's start getting into this with the Arizona Diamondbacks. We all know that these teams lose a lot of guys from uh, 1984 who are good. In this case, Bob Brenly, Brett Butler, Joe Carter, Ryan Sandberg, Claudio Washington, Fernando Valenzuela, Bob Welsh, and Underwood. So in 69, Bleffrey, Paul Popovich, Dave Boswell, and Chuck Dobson, I don't think are here. Or Reagan. None of those guys are here. No. Uh, Jim Bowden, Ed Herman, uh, Larry Howard, I don't see him here. Jim Lytle, no, he's not here either. Jim Lytle, George Thomas, Steve Braun, and Juan Pizarro. All right. So these guys are available if they aren't elsewhere in the league. Duke Sim Sims is elsewhere in the league. He's still property of the Cleveland Indians. So move him out. Josephson, property of the White Sox. Whoops. Danny Cater. Interesting. So, it's not, they're not, it's not like they're going to draft him anyway. Cater is going to be signed by the Yankees with it when he hits 300. So it's no big deal that, uh, yes, he's available, but there's no, not much point taking him. Tim Cullen. This is the best Cullen card we've seen. He's actually a slick-feeling second baseman, and he hits a respectable 270, 261. That's a good-looking 261, though. So, yeah, he could, he could, he's not going to replace Ryan Sandberg, of course, but he can replace him, his position, at least. Eddie Leone, eh. Dave Campbell, eh. All right, Philippe Alou is the fourth time we've seen his card. Is this the best one? 278? Uh, he kind of falls into that Clay Carroll category. He's, a, he's pretty much the same every year, so just, uh, if one of your years, your short talent, uh, save that guy who's flexible. For that spot. All right, Lowenstein was last in the league in 83, so he sat out a year, and he comes back as a rookie in 72, and he's got power, but not much else, so probably not. Jay Johnston belongs to the Angels. Let's pull him out. Roger Freed. Oh boy, you know, eight years from now, Arizona, you're gonna love Roger Freed, his 77 card. Um, you know, it's funny, they could sign him and try and connect the two uh, years. The two eras. All right, Dick Woodson. Now he's an excellent pitcher, but I gotta just double check if he's even available. I want to say he's pitching for somebody else. He is not. He is available. He's outstanding. Now you have a problem though. Good numbers for the Twins. The twins had a lot of good starting pitchers, so Woodson was plucked off the Twin roster. Uh, the problem is. Well, you know what? You have uh, Dobson, Pizarro, and Dave. You know, you could have Dick Woodson replace Fernando Valenzuela, but that would leave you with just one left-handed starter, Pizarro. So you may as well do it since you're an expansion team and talent is the name of the game here. Jim Willoughby, a starter eight. Wow, two good right-handed starting pitchers in the expansion draft. That would be excellent. 235 and a short number of innings, but a starter eight? You can't even relieve? Excellent card. Wow, suddenly you give Arizona these two guys and look out Colorado. They've got some arms that can stop that Colorado offense. Ken Brett, I want to say he's with Houston, but let me just double check. Yeah, Brett is... No, he is not. He is... Oh, he's, a, he's available. So, Ken Brett is available. He's just not that good, unfortunately. Jerry Bell. And Bell, yeah, he's also available. He's a good pitcher. Buck 65 ERA. Excellent pitcher. Well, pitching is the name of the game with Arizona. At Acosta, not so much. And then uh, Fred Sherman, not one of his better years. He's better elsewhere. Jerry Johnson. Paranowski's still with the Twins. 
And so that's that's that. So pretty good. Not, not bad really. And they have a lot of options at least, a lot of cards here. And uh, the pitching options are really impressive. All right, next we're going to move to the Colorado Rockies, the dangerous expansion team who went we took the San Francisco Giants to five games in the divisional round. And they did it unconventionally by just homers, walks, Ks, and trying to force, you know, maximize all 27 outs is the best way to describe it. They lose Balboni, Brian Downing, Rich Gedman, Jim Morrison, Dwayne Walker, Bud Black, Dan Petrie, and they'll bring back Rick Reed. Excuse me, Ron Reed comes back. So Monday should be here. Yeah, it seems 69. Monday, Sid O'Brien is in here. No Bob Tillman. Dick Drago. Gary Nybauer is not here, but Jim Schellenbach is. Brant Alea is not here, or Cohen. Don Money should be here. Don Money. John Cumberland should be here. John Kennedy. And Mel Queen should be here. Let's see if I can find. There's John Kennedy. Is there a Mel Queen here or not? I'm not sure. Yes, there's Mel Queen too. So that's good to know that the Rockies are drafting con uh, consistently, keeping the same guys around. All right, so we know Ron Reed will go into the starting rotation. He's got a 3.47 area in '69, projected out three more years in the future. And he goes in rotation with a 393 ERA. So again, it's not really that critical with Ron Reed. Uh, he's very flexible. So I wouldn't make him a first round pick. It's, I would just flex him into the year that you're weakest. Dave Kingman. Now, he is currently property. I got to pull him out. He's currently property of the Boston Red Sox because they protected him. They protected Kingman, did Boston. Uh, and that the reason is that they uh, he's actually played for the Giants. So it's going to be up to the Colorado Rockies and the Giants to pony up for Kingman services. Again, it's all home runs. Um, a 225 batting average. So, not sure who's going to win that bidding war. A lefty catcher, Tom Haller. We've seen him better. Jerry Moses is on Boston. Jim Spencer, I think he's available. He might be on the Angels. Let me just double check. Yeah, Jim Spencer's on the Angels, and he really struggled this year. Dalton Jones isn't very good. Joe Lee, yes, we like this guy. And the funny part about it is now, now that you see that Joe Lee is in the box and available, you could say that compared to Dave Kingman, you may as well just go with this guy. You're going to get similar results. Uh, more on bases, a little bit less home runs, but you don't have to trade any draft capital to get him. He's in-house. So I would say if you lose that on the Kingman negotiations, just settle for Joe Liss. Rusty Torres, not that good. Costco good against righties. He's got a lot of home runs in his Stratomena cards. So he has a really good 73 card, I believe. All right, do we need a starting pitcher to replace... Dan Petrie and Bud Black. Uh, Al Santorini. Uh, kind of okay. Bill Grief, no thanks. Al Fitzmaurice. 374 ERA in 100 innings. Jim Strickland. Hmm. Homers and walks, but otherwise, he has a 250 ERA. So, you got to be careful with guys like this because this could be a horrible inning. Two walks and a three run homer. Um, even though he's got a 250 ERA. So,. I'm always leery of guys when I see homers and walks together in the same card like that. Um, so that's the Rockies. They can always fall back on Ron Reed if they're not happy with these other guys. All right, next up we have Las Vegas. Arguably the worst team in the carryover league. We've lamented on occasion. Um... They lose a bunch of really good guys from the 80s. Al Bumbry, Leon Durham, Dwight Evans, Carney Lansford, Bill Schroeder, Ernie Witt, Rick Sutcliffe, and Mark Langston. And that Rick Sutcliffe they lost is a 16-1 player. 
So from 69, it's Barry, Kubiak, Art Shamsky, who's not here, Blue Moon Odom, Woody Fryman, uh, Ken Johnson's not here, Tommy Davis, Ron Hansen, who's not here, Aurelio Rodriguez, Ron Erbel's not here, Roger Hambright, and Jim Rowland, who's not here. Okay, so these are the guys they can get. Paul Jada, he's not very good. Ken Rudolph, he's okay. Mike Keegan's property, I think he's property of the Brewers. Let me just double check that. And Mike Keegan's playing from, from the Brewers. That's a shame because that's a 329 card in limited number of plate appearances. So it's a shame to lose that. But then again, Milwaukee could use that. Nettles is property, he should be property of the Yankees, I believe. He was in transition from playing for the Cleveland and then to the Yankees. That's a rare instance where the, uh, the trade was executed sooner than it actually happened. There's Ron Hansen, we know he's on the protected list. Uh, Norm Miller, we've seen this guy a few times. This might be the best one, 243, maybe not. Oscar Brown, not much there. Boots Day is on the Expos, pull him out. Randy Elliott, nameless. Bill Parsons, he's also with Milwaukee, I want to say. Bill Parsons is on Milwaukee, yes. Tom Murphy, he uh, just put a string together of very mediocre play, uh, yeah, not that good. 338, but really struggles against lefties. Jim Harden's available. Starter seven, similar situation. Uh, Milt Wilcox was not protected. He was in the uh, 84 league, but instead of protecting him, he was let go, so he's free to sign with anybody, and, he, and uh, he's in the currently a 340 ERA, but a starter five. Bill Butler. Joel Horland, very good Joel Horland. He's also, the White Sox are looking at him. A really bad Mark Schaefer. And a good Fred Gladding. They don't need any help in their bullpen, but there it is. You know, after looking at all these cards, the other thing to consider is, is something even more important. And that would simply be um, improving the... Uh, here we are. Improving some of these guys who are already on the team. Like, you already have Woody Fryman, but you can improve him and give him this card. 205 ERA. You have Ken Berry. A 1-E-0 center fielder, but this one hits both ways. 289. So, the beauty with Las Vegas is if they don't like any of the guys to add to the roster, they can improve the guys currently on the roster and then uh, when, uh, just sign guys off the street near the end of the draft. All right, we're down to Portland. Portland, uh, losers of Mike Brown, Jim Pankovitz, Terry Poole, Chet Lemon, Don Robinson, Jesse Roscoe, Ed Nunez, and they have the rights to Burt Blylevin, but it's the trade rumor is that you know they're going to trade him. So they have Mark Belanger. Pete Ward's not here. Nelson Bryles. Ray Sadecki. He should be here. And Ray Culp. Sadecki should be here too. Ray Sadecki and Ray Culp. Pete Reichert. They're also drafting pretty cons consistently the same guys. Ken Boswell, I think he's elsewhere. Tony Gonzalez, Ken Harrelson, Hal King, and Bob Barton. So, we also have Alan Gall Bob Barton and Alan Gallagher. There's Alan Gallagher. All right. So, yeah, if you want to trade Blylev, and make sure you get a ton in, uh, in return from the Twins, because he's very good when you go that route. All right, Bob Montgomery is a good catcher against righties. I don't think they need a catcher, though. They don't. All right. 
And Tim McCarver. Check this out, though. You can put Tim McCarver at third base if you want. <laughs> um, not one of his best years. With the Expos. 246. Nah, yeah, probably not. A nameless Joe Ferguson. Mike Jorgensen. He doesn't really start hit, uh, hitting well until like 73, I believe. Javier uh, is property of the Cardinals. Tony Taylor, property of the Phillies. Davalia, we, we saw him with the uh, Diamondbacks, right? No, Florida Marlins. Florida Marlins have him. Ulander with Seattle. Bill Voss, nameless. Mike Anderson's not very good. Don Durham. That's a pretty good card. Ah, Ford, 431. Frank Reberger. Let's double check it, make sure he's available. He should be. Uh, Reberger. E oh, no, he's with the Padres. Wow. He has to go to the Padres. Ernie McNally. John Strohmeyer. Already gets lefties out. Eddie Watts elsewhere, too. Eddie Watt is with Cleveland. Well... I definitely think there's a nice gap between Las Vegas and Portland at this point. So, you know, you got to make sure you get compensated for Bulli 11 pretty nicely. Because once you get past that, the options are kind of slim in this box for the Portland team. All right, so that's it for the crazy mountain division. One more division to go, and it'll be done with the 72 box. Hope you've enjoyed these videos. We'll see you next time.